In this video, we're going to identify how to center a drive pump on an SW20 hand foot machine. Uh, this is a Dan Foss Series 40 M44 tandem axial piston pump. Reasons you wouldn't want to center a pump uh, would be you observe a creep when you release the park brake. Uh, this will guide you towards this procedure. So when we look at the pump stack, we got to understand we get a left pump and a right pump. Uh, left pump is specifically for the left drive. The right pump is for the right drive. So if you release the park brake and you ID it creeps on the left side only, it's creeping forward when you release the park brake, you would only go after the adjustment of the left pump only. Uh, vice versa, if the right side creeps forward or back, you would uh, go through the procedure of centering the pump on the right pump, which is the back towards the bell housing. Now, some of the key components you're gonna see on the pump with the cab tipped is you have this mechanical linkage on the left pump and the right pump. This mechanical linkage is directly connected to your drive sticks inside of the cab. In order to do this procedure, we need to first remove the linkage from the drive levers in the cab to the drive lever. So we got a left linkage, left drive lever. We have a right linkage, right drive lever. So we're, that's the first thing we're going to remove is the two lock nuts on the drive lever to remove the linkage. The reason we do this is if you start the engine up with the cab tipped, this linkage is actually pulling on the lever on the pump and the pump is no longer in a neutral position. So the engine will not have enough torque to uh, meet the command of the hydraulic on the machine. So we're gonna first remove the nuts here and remove the linkage. So I'm using a 916 ratchet here and just remove the lock nuts. And with the nut removed, we can press off the linkage from the lever. And we're gonna repeat the procedure on the right pump. All right, so as you can see, we got the drive linkage left and right side removed from the levers on the pump. You can see with the levers removed, that lever on the pumps went back to a neutral position. What causes that lever to back to the neutral position is what we call a spring pack. So each pump, left and right pump, have a spring pack that automatically neutralize the pump back to neutral. On this lever, some other key components we're gonna be looking at and adjusting is your adjustment bolt. So on the left pump, we have our drive lever. We have our rod, which kind of looks like a tie rod on a vehicle. And then we have a lawn adjustment bolt right here. This adjustment bolt is what helps and sets the uh, neutral position on the pump. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is my spring pack. So on my spring packs, automatically bringing my pump back to neutral. The way we ID this is the spring packs are set in between the bracket on top of the pump. There should be no play in between the spring pack and the brackets. So if I just grab the lever, give it a slight tug back and forth, I can feel no play on the left pump. I'm gonna repeat the procedure on the right side. Loosely grab the lever, kind of give it a little wiggle. Um, you do not see or observe any movement in that spring pack. So the spring packs are set correctly. If the spring packs were not set correctly, let me just show you what that would look like. So with this adjustment bolt on the lever, there's two jam nuts that hold that spring pack in place. All I'm gonna do is make that spring pack too tight so there's a little movement in the spring pack and then show you how to neutralize the spring pack if, it's, if you do observe it out of adjustment. So I'm just using a 916 open-ended wrench. Okay. Tighten up that jam nut. So this is a scenario where the spring pack is loose, not set correctly. It's not neutralizing the pump. You may also observe a loud pump when you first start it up. You may also observe the engine might struggle to start because the, the pump's actually trying to move when you're not commanding the movement. So with that spring pack not adjusted, you can see there's some play in that spring pack in between the brackets. So you can also observe 
the pump is rapidly moving when you're trying to start that engine. I could demonstrate that with uh, starting the engine. We should see a little chatter out of the pump if the shrimp pack is out of adjustment. I'm just letting the machine boot up here. I'm gonna start the engine and just observe what the left pump is gonna do when I start the engine. Okay, the engine didn't even start. It was that far out of adjustment and you actually saw the left pump command the full stroke. So a very good identification of not centering that spring pack in between the brackets. So the first check, we're gonna center that spring pack. Very simple procedure. Grab your 916 trench, loosen up the jam nuts for that spring pack. So we got a, two nuts on there. We're gonna loosen them up. So get them completely loose. We can spin them by hand. Okay, so we are completely off the spring pack. You can see, okay. So we're going to tighten up the first nut now, just till it makes contact with the spring bushing. And we're gonna tighten up the jam nut. Okay. Get that tight end. Now we have no play on that pump in between that spring pack. So that's the first check we're going to do is center that spring pack. The next adjustment you're going to make, and this is really specifically for a machine that creeps forward after you release the park brake, it's really focusing in around this long adjustment bolt to the, to the rod, which is then connected to the lever. So in order to do this, we're going to remove or loosen up the jam nut on the rod from the adjustment bolt. Again, 9 sixteenths wrench. Just slightly loosen up that jam nut because we're gonna make it be making an adjustment here. Now, when you're making the adjustment of the adjustment bolt for centering and neutralizing the pump, the machine will be running, the park brake will be engaged, so the tires, the tracks in the machine will not be moving. We're gonna start the engine. We're gonna start to make our movements on the Adjustment bolt. So we're going to count the number of turns clockwise and then counterclockwise, and then half of that's going to be our neutral or center position. I'm going to loosen the jam nut so that it can actually move that adjustment bolt back and forth, which causes this lever to move back and forth off the neutral. So again, find that position on the jump bolt where you can count the number of turns. So we're gonna go one, two, okay, we hit relief, so it's just about two. One, two is back to presumably neutral. So we're gonna keep going, so that's two. Way, one and a half turns. We'll say right about there is the neutral position. Tighten up the jam nut. And that's how you center the left drive pump using your relief valves both forward and reverse. So we're just trying to find bookends uh, utilizing the relief valves as our uh, kind of gauge. As the machine is in a parked state, we don't want it moving, but we're utilizing the relief valves to find that neutral position by moving this long bolt connected to the tie rod, to the lever, to the pump, and bringing that machine back to neutral. So after you make your adjustments here, you would connect your connecting rod here, your linkage back to your lever, um, reassemble the nut onto the linkage, put the cab down, test the machine for creep again. Uh, if it continues to creep, you might have to get back under the cab, under the cab again, remove your linkage and make maybe a small minute adjustment forward and reverse on your adjustment bolt here, um, just to kind of fine tune that adjustment and that, that creep that you may still observe. For more information on Wacker Noisen Skid Series, visit your local Wacker Noisen dealer or visit wackernoisen.com.